All right, team, April 3rd, it's 8 a.m. and I'm only going to bed now from the 2nd of April. I pulled an all-nighter, I had some technical difficulties, so I wasn't able to get the April 1st vlog up on the 2nd. I technically got it up on the 3rd, so I'm like a day behind, so I gotta play catch up. I'm gonna get some rest and check in with you in a little bit. Whew. All right, so it's 3 p.m., not bad about eight or nine hours of sleep. Bruce Black called me about an hour and a half ago and said that he wasn't feeling well today, so we're not gonna be training with Bruce, unfortunately, today. But I have some ideas for what we can do today. Also, watching back the first couple of vlogs, I realized that as an entertainer, my self-worth and kind of my whole identity is really deeply intertwined with live audiences and being able to feed off of live audiences. I'm feeling really lost and like I'm lacking self-worth when it comes to doing Vita. This is going to be a really interesting experiment when it comes to doing, you know, 28, 27 more of these. I reached out to my friend Natasha for feedback about the first vlog for Vita. And Natasha said there's two ways that you can approach a vlog. And the first one was being a diary, a journal, a, a log, like a daily log for family and friends. And the second one is taking mundane things and making them interesting. And I think that I'm trying to take mundane things and make them interesting because I'm really not sure what 10 days from now will look like and what the end of this will look like. But I'm hoping, if you're anything like me, that you'll enjoy the journey. Ow! My legs hurt after yesterday. Oh my gosh, my, my legs, my shoulders and arms, like right in here. My tukis. Excellent. Alors, je vais prendre de l'huile de coco. Oh, sorry, that was the French side, but there you go, that's the English side. I'm going to take some MCT, some medium chain triglycerides, and put it in my coffee. I quite like my coffee mug. It says never postpone what you can cancel, and it has a sloth on it. Sloth is my favorite animal. Click this link to see my sloth vlog. Is this like Buckley's for coffee? Basically. Gross. Oh, that consistency was amazing. <laughs> We're gonna make the most of our dorch, our back deck porch, with some Tesla style plastic light bulb thingies that I just found. You got this, you are like mountain goat. I am a Capricorn. Jimmy to the rescue. Jim Valen. Did it work? It went. Oh, cool. Okay, so since Bruce couldn't make it out today, I had to come up with something else to do, so I thought, I got some bags of balloons. I'm gonna make something. Thanks to my buddy, Sean Rooney, I will leave a link to his Instagram in the description. He's a creative genius. The guy is literally a balloon artist. Sean gets commissioned to build these giant installations with balloons. Super cool guy, definitely check him out. Sean is the reason I'm able to do this. The first piece. The second piece is inside of this. Whew. This might be the hardest part. Whew. Last time I did that was for an OPP officer. And the idea is to push this piece inside of the balloon and then let the air out. Ah. The story of my birth. So we feed the balloon ball that is inside of the balloon string into the regular balloon. Uh, that's that, the little ball's there. Acting like a little valve. Now we have this peculiar looking oddity. Pull the string, releasing the air, and then turn this whole thing inside out. So essentially this piece will be on the inside of the balloon. And believe it or not, this will become one of the most incredible musical instruments I've ever had the pleasure of playing. Now I'm gonna squeeze the air out of this string completely and then tie off a little finger loop at the end. And that's it. I know right now it just looks like a balloon with a string attached somehow weirdly like an umbilical cord to it. So some of you might be saying, well, Alex, that's just a couple of balloons. Maybe it is. But now I'm ready for tomorrow. Got my balloon bass, got a keyboard,
Got some bottles with some drumsticks and a djembe. All set for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see more of in this vlog because there's still 26 days to go.